What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, hey yo. No, I'm coming back to y'all with another Text Nation fan talk. Y'all already know what time it is today. I'm coming at y'all with some biggest news over the Houston Texans. Big Monday after the 2022 draft. If you want to see more Houston Texans coverage, go ahead and drop the sub. And if you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, go ahead and smash that like. I got some big stuff coming this week, mainly the 2022 hype video. For the 2022 Texas Rookies, if you want to see that video and don't want to miss out, go ahead and drop the sub. I'm going to jump right into this. Houston Texans start this big Monday off with some big news for the big fella, Titus Howard. They give him that fifth-year option. This is big for Houston Texans because, yes, Titus Howard is a stud. I will say that right now. I enjoy me some Titus Howard. I think Titus Howard can be a phenomenal NFL right tackle, tackle, left tackle, right tackle, whatever it is. But the Houston Texans, they have a tendency with messing their players over by not putting them in their best position. The Houston Texans are kind of known for putting players at peculiar situations that they really can't excel at. Titus Howard last year had to play right guard, left guard, left tackle, right tackle, and he wasn't the best at right at the guard positions, but when it came to left tackle, Titus Howard really held that bitch down for Laramie Tunsil. Um, Titus Howard only allowed two sacks in the 2021 season, and at left tackle, like I said, he finished with the highest among tackles with a grade of 89.89.9. 89 um, Titus Howard gets it done, man, but. We're not talking about the left tackle position because that's held down by Laramie Tunsil. Laramie Tunsil signed an extension. Um, you know, I mean, he restructured his contract, so he's going to be here for the time being. This is about Titus Howard right now. Titus Howard, look, this is this is basically his his contract year. If Titus Howard, if they don't play with Titus Howard's, you know, position, this can be a phenomenal year for the kid. Now he's due. If he has a phenomenal year, he's due for a big contract. And those contracts at the right tackle spot starts with Brandon Smith. I think this is where it's going to, you know, the talks are going to start with. Brandon Smith, 17.5 mil. And that highs is Ryan Ramchek with 19.2 mil. If, if Titus Howard has a Pro Bowl type season, he has another spectacular, only allowing two or less sacks. You got to get the kid the bat. You got to start it off with at least 18 mil. You can't lowball this kid. You especially if you're keeping him at the tackle position. Um, Titus Howard, he's a, he's, a, he's a worker, bro. He's a worker, but he needs that confidence from the coaches. Lovey Smith, I said this like last week, two weeks ago, however long it was. Lovey Smith, you need to give this kid confidence. You need to say this kid, this man is our right tackle of the future, like you do every other guy, like Davis Mills. We don't really know what he is, but you're claiming him to be, you know, the quarterback of the future. You're giving him all your trust. Give Titus Howard all your trust. Say he can be the right tackle of the future or, you know, just trade the kid, man. You you just signed Austin De, uh, DeCalisis. If, you, if you're not, if you're, or Deleuze, my, whatever his name is, he's a sixth rounder. And, and my bad for it, over overreacting the other day, talking about Titus Howard can lose his job to this kid. Look, and Titus Howard really has, like like I was basically saying, Titus Howard has an A1 season. His his job is secure. But whatever the hell, that, that's that. Titus Howard, fifth-year option. Let's go ahead and jump into the next topic. It's going to be Lonnie Johnson gets traded to the Kansas City Chiefs for a seventh, not even 2023, a 2024th seventh. Um, that, that's kind of low, but regardless – Lonnie Johnson's three-year stats with the Houston Texans, 19 games played, well, 19 games started, I mean, he has three interceptions, which all came, all came, and um, <laughs> they all came last year, and um, 22, 22 completions off of 38 targets his way, and he led up 380 yards with two touchdowns, um, he, this really basically started a while ago, really a good minute ago. Lonnie Johnson had the tendency to jump on social media and, you know, voice his displeasures with signings or anything going on with the team. You can't really do that. You 
You can't run to Twitter and talk about how you don't like this going on, you don't like that going on, because, you know, that's unprofessional. It's just unprofessional, bro. Um, and also, whenever we signed Derek Stigley Jr., third overall, he got in his feelings and got on Twitter, started being unprofessional. And also, because the cornerback room is very crowded right now. Desmond King Jr., you know, uh, Steven Nelson, Tavarine Thomas, like I said, um, Derek Singley Jr. is getting pretty loaded up in there. And, you know, a guy like Lonnie Johnson, who unfortunately gets moved around a lot, is probably going to be moved around a lot and not really see the field as much as he should. Um, I really liked I really liked Lonnie Johnson his first year. I thought Lonnie Johnson did pretty nice at quarterback. And his best game, in my opinion, is still the Kansas City Chiefs game, which he's on right now. I think it was like week six when he really locked up Travis Kelsey. That was his standout game, still his standout game in his career. Ho hopefully, Lonnie Johnson has a fine career with the Kansas City Chiefs. Hopefully, they keep him at quarterback and they let him excel the best way he can. And he's teaming up with his old buddy, his twin, uh, Justin Reed. Hopefully, both those boys ball out. I really like me some Justin Reed. I I thought he was a phenomenal safety for us. Really, I wouldn't say phenomenal. That, that's going a little bit too hard. But Justin Reed was very serviceable. He played the best he could. He just had a lot of nagging injuries. But this isn't about Justin Reed. This is about Texans players. Or I guess you could say former Texans players. Um, and the last news for the Houston Texans today, if you made it through right here, go ahead and smash that like. And if you haven't already, hit the sub, man. Like I said, I got some big things coming this week. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Texas at two defensive pass rushers. I guess you could say they at Rasheem Green. Rasheem Green. 24 years old. And Mario Addison, 35 years old. But um Rasheem has 20. I mean, he has four years pro. My bad. My bad for all that. And um Addison has 35, 11 years. 11 years pro. He's 35 years old. And he's been in the league for 11 years. My bad. I'm I'm stumbling over my words, guys. Bear with me. I'm sorry for all that. Um, Rasheem, his 2021 stats, 16 games started, four passes defended, six sacks with 94 total tackles and 27 QB hits. The guy can get to the quarterback. He's um he's a defensive tackle, but also you can slide him to the edge. You know, one of these guys has to play. I, I think it's mainly going to be, you know, um, Green, he's going to play that side opposite from, you know, Jonathan Grenard and Mario Addison. His 2021 stats are going to be zero games started, but he's played in all 17. He has two forced fumbles, seven sacks, 29 total tackles, and seven QB hits. Um, Really, Mario is probably going to come in for situational pass rushing, you know. But he's a vet also, so he can teach some of these young guys how to really get after the quarterback. But that's really going to be all the news for today. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more coming out this week. So, if, like I said already, go ahead and drop the sub if you want to stay tuned for that. Um, Titus Howard gets the fifth-year option. Lonnie Johnson gets traded to the Kansas City Chief and Texans at Rasheem Green. And Mario Addison, go ahead and drop this up. It's your boy, I know I'm signing off. Peace. Go Texans.